Hello, everybody. We're uh, back here on Call of the Wild. Switching it up tonight with a little bit of New England Whitetail. I want to see if the map is going to be good for grinding them. Uh, it's something I've wanted to do since the map came out, but just wasn't sure when we were going to get into it. But I figured tonight is a good time to do so, and there is some deer right there. Love to see it. I don't think there's more than just a couple, though. We're primarily going to be trying to figure out where they are, setting up some tents at different locations, and then uh, maybe blasting a few as well. Let's go ahead and figure out what we're going to do for the loadout. How's everybody doing, though? Unfortunately, YouTube failed to send out notifications, so I think most people don't even know that we're live right now. Gotta love YouTube. YouTube always doing the most. ALB, hey, Ablaze. Tyler Moss, Raid, Hands, um, Lucas, Owen, Core, Moss. How's everybody doing? Oh, just barely not enough room. Don't need that, I guess. There's a random rabbit there. Okay, interesting. I only see two bucks here as of now. I want to check a lot of these lakes. So we're probably going to go to that one next, or maybe this one. I know for a fact Whitetail can be here. We might go over there. Nice, Raid. Yeah, that's what I thought, uh, Noah. YouTube is probably like, come on, man. You've already uploaded a video and streamed today. We can't send out a notey. Yeah, Hunter Caden, you're very early. We just got started. Just got started for the day with the whitetail. We will see what we can accomplish today. Tomorrow is the Expansive World stream, so hopefully they'll show off something cool. Last week they showed off the 308 bolt action. Hopefully they'll show off one of the other weapons this week. I believe that's what they said they were going to do. So looking forward to that. Hey, LB, I'm doing good. Uh, from time to time, Moss. Not a ton, but from time to time. Hey, Games with Bree, how's it going? Um, did you choose the annual renewal or the one-time buy? I chose the one-time buy so I wouldn't have to pay more for it, right? Because you pay less if you just do the one-time purchase. If you're planning to use it for an extended period of time, at least. And because I edit videos every single day and plan to for years to come, I wanted to just buy it once and not have to buy it again. Yeah, Sons of the Forest is out. We've been playing it, uh, Caden. We've uh, been doing a playthrough. There's actually been a, a decent bit of people watching the Sons of the Forest stream, so that's been pretty cool. Last two days, we've peaked at 100 people during the Forest streams, which is pretty dope. And it's uh, quite a fun game. Very detailed. Yeah, no problem. Holy Mrs. Crow is in the building. Notification didn't pop up. Seems about right. YouTube doing its best, you know. Got to drink some water real quick. Nice, Aiden. Nice. Yeah, it seems like it could be decent because some of the herds are really big. It's just going to be a matter of how consistent they are. Consistency is really all I look for in a grind. If it's a consistent grind and I can easily take them down really quickly, then that is best case scenario. Uh, no, Karlov, you're not late. We just started up, like, maybe 10 minutes ago. 
Just kind of finding our zones right now. Um, it can be mossed. It really depends. It's easy in the sense that there's less places you have to look because they're only on half of the map. But it's also a lot brushier, so... It kind of is a bit of a trade-off. Rev on Tuli's more open, but they're more spread out. Layton, they're more condensed, but they are in much more... Oh! Oh my gosh! Level 3 turkey! We got it! Where did that guy come from? Oh my gosh, that's amazing! Oh, I have the Christmas 22 out. I grabbed the wrong 22. Oh well. Alright, well, I'm glad we came over here to uh, good old New England. Random diamond turkey. That's pretty cool. What a start to the day, honestly. My gosh. Hey, buddy. I don't think it's the plumage type I like. No, it's definitely not. But that's... Oh, it's Max! It's Max score! Wow, we had a Max score turkey. Fly over top of us while we're trying to find whitetail zones. You can't even write this. This just, you can't even write a script to this perfect. That is amazing. What a way to start the day, guys. I got a good feeling about this stream. I got a good feeling about the stream if this is how we're starting. What an awesome start to the day. Max score, max weight. Diamond turkey just flies over top of us out of nowhere. That's crazy. What a way to start the day off. That's amazing. Uh, what do you mean, Levi? What do you mean by how many red deer? Yeah, pretty much, Aiden. That's usually how it goes. Like, I've stumbled across a few, like, uh, rare moose during the whitetail grind on Layton. Well, actually, it was one rare moose and then one diamond potential four, I believe. Yeah, Dylan, I'm doing so much better. As you can probably tell, my voice is back to normal. We're back to 100% finally. Oh, red deer kills between diamonds. What is the average? Well, if you're using herd management, it can be anywhere from 20 to 50. If you're not using herd management, then your average will be around 100 to 150 between diamonds on red deer. Now, keep in mind, that's an average. So that's just over the course of your entire grind. That should be the average. But you're going to have times where you go three to 500 with nothing. And then maybe within 100 kills, you get like three or four diamonds, right? You're going to have situations like that, but it should average out to about 100 in between. Sometimes a little bit more. Oh, there we go, white tail. Beautiful. Oh, it just hit 12. That's fine, though. We got the uh, white tail zone discovered. That one's 70 away. Why can't I place that there? There we go. Closest deer we got. Let's get him down. Initial spawn, great one next lake. Maybe raid, we'll see. I haven't seen a uh, proven initial spawn in a while, so hard to say. We'll find out, I guess. It's going good, uh, Country Boys Gaming. It's going good, man. Hey, little soup, how's it going, dude? 
Well, and I gotta go to the live chat instead of top chat so that I can see every message. Some of them aren't popping up. There we go. Now everything's popping up. Hey, Tommy, how's it going? Yeah, it's really good, Lionel. The 308 is an amazing rifle. Love the 308 for Whitetail. And for pretty much everything, to be honest. It's just great. What's my favorite gun? The 308 AR is my favorite gun, Most. We shall see if that still stands after the uh, full reveal of every weapon in this new weapon pack. I'm really interested to see what they'll be. Curious what they're going to show off next. That 308 already has my attention. It's going to be cool to have a bolt action 308. We can head down to this lake next, but I kind of want to go... Nah, we should go there. Uh, this is Whitetail as well. Yeah, the M1's really good, Most. It's essentially the same as the 308, but a little bit different recoil style. And so you might end up liking it more, you might end up liking it less, but they're both really good. We're going to be going virtually to the beginning of the time uh, since we're searching the map instead of doing just one hour resets like we do on Layton. Because we got to find everything. Random moose decided to show up. Let's head over here though. Nice ghost, that's awesome. Oh, gotcha, Drawn. No worries, dude. Algebra is terrible. I hated it. To this day, I still don't understand algebra. Luckily, I didn't really need it to pass. I know it's different between homeschool and, like, um, public school or private school. I know they do things differently, but for homeschool, I didn't really have to be good at algebra because the, like, end-of-the-year test, the, like, state testing that we did was it was like a score for all of a subject right so i got like a 74 percent on math for my last math test and most of the stuff i got wrong was the algebra stuff so yeah but because i was good at like other types of math i still ended up passing But I think, is, isn't it for, like, public school system? Don't you have to be good at, like, everything? If you fail hard on one, you'll probably fail the test. Is that how it works or what? I'm so confused. Because I don't really know, um... Like I said, I, I was homeschooled my whole life, so I don't really know how it works. How do you sell the animals that you saved in American Marksman? You go to the trophies tab on the main menu. Oh, how does it work then, Tyler? I am not familiar. I'm doing great, TTK. Just uh, trying out New England Mountains for some whitetail. Gonna see if it's any good. It it's looked kind of good when we were testing it out um, during early access. It really seemed like they're in very large herds, so... I'm hoping we can find some consistency in the zones and be able to actually grind it. Because a lot of people, they tend to try and grind, like, the entire map. I've always just grinded, like, 10 zones. If I can get, like, 10 or less zones that are incredibly consistent, that have a lot of deer in one area, we could be doing pretty good. So we're going to hope that we can make something good out of this. I got a feeling the river zones are actually going to be really key. Because a lot of them are in pretty open areas and the herds are really big normally from what I've seen. Nothing here at the moment, but there very well could be something later. I might just drop a tent here so we can come back uh, later in the drink time. There we go. We'll come back to here later. Let's head down to the river and start walking it. 
Uh, that's up to you, Levi. In my experience, it doesn't really affect great ones. So if you are just after great ones, then grind whatever way you find more fun. If you're wanting super rares, then herd management is probably the better option. But it, it's really up to you. I've grinded both ways, and I've had fun with both ways. So whatever you like more. There really is no wrong way to play Call of the Wild. It's all up to just what you find to be the most fun and whether or not you really care about how other people perceive the way you play, right? As a content creator, I chose to stop doing it just because I felt like I didn't really want to contribute to it anymore, but nothing wrong with doing it if you want to, man. That can happen, Roman. So what's happening? If they're disappearing out of your zones, they're going to new areas. Sometimes they'll join up with another herd. Occasionally they will create a brand new herd. Uh, that's usually what happens if your respawns are not returning to the same spot that you shot them. Not sure, Columbia, but honestly, I kind of like it. One of the biggest things I love about American Marksman so far from what I've played of it is the fact that it doesn't feel pay to win like most mobile games like you can purchase a lot of this stuff pretty quickly just by playing the game and then like the real money sinks in the game are upgrading your um your farm adding like the props increasing the size of your like a uh, house and or barn um taxing trophies like all that stuff is the majority of the money sink and so, like, it makes it so the actual hunting part is very accessible if you want to play free-to-play or if you want to do the membership. It doesn't really even matter, which is really nice. It's cool to see. Also, I'm really happy that you guys have been enjoying the American Marksman content because I've had fun making it. It's been a nice change of pace. Also, would you guys want to see me do a multiplayer hunt on American Marksman with um, either my wife or maybe I can convince Kill Clinton to play it? Because the multiplayer is actually really cool in American Marksman. Me and my wife ended up playing it last night. And it was great. The multiplayer works really well. Um, it's a mobile game, uh, game time. So you just go to the Play Store if you're on Android. Or the App Store if you're on, um, iOS. And it should be there. Really fun game, though. Really good development team as well. It is raids, so that, that's one complaint I do have, is the 308 and the 243 are like backwards. 308 should not be the weakest gun, and the 243 should not be the second strongest gun. It should honestly go like this, 243, 308, 30-06, and then the, uh, the 7.62 AR, in my opinion. Um, 30-06 actually might be above 7.62, to be honest. I think the 30 out 6 probably should be the strongest one out of those. Um, the shotguns are actually really good as well. I got to use one of the shotguns. I even like a, created a custom skin for it and entered it into the gun show, so... We'll hope that we can win that. That'd be pretty cool, but... The shotguns are actually pretty good in that game. They gotta be using buckshot because they're really good. Either buckshot or slugs. Oh, yeah, I've got the handgun as well, TTK. It does more damage because it is a um, it is a Desert Eagle 50 cal. It's a 50 AE. Um, you do have to be pretty close, though. It's definitely not a long-range gun. Honestly, I think the next video I do in American Marksman is either going to be a helicopter hog hunt or a suppressed Desert Eagle hunt. Because both seem like they would be quite fun to do for a video. Oh, there we go. See, this is what I'm talking about. We got some decent sized herds on the river. Oh, we got double zones here. Phenomenal. That is what we love to see. How far is that? 360. Oh, we could totally... Yeah, we could totally hunt both of these zones. Let's try it out. I'm going to take down a couple of them. Honestly, I think we're going to prioritize the uh, river zones. It's looking like the river will be much better.
So they can be right there. This other zone is about 130 away. Okay, so if we place a tent around here, these will not render in. The close ones will not render in. Big Fish Adventures, thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Hope you're doing super great this evening. Love the videos and streams. Can't wait for a great one. Same, dude. Same. I'm hoping we can get ourselves a New England great one. That would be pretty cool. That would be pretty awesome. So we're going to put this here. That'll make it so we can just come down. We can shoot the one out of this zone. Um, I don't actually know how many are in the zone. It might just be two. If it's just two, they're not going to respawn properly. Good buck, though. So we got to take him down. I think it is just a dual zone, though, so that's going to turn to a solo doe, most likely. But we will test it out. Yeah, game time, we are. Oh, and with the uh, new new caps rules, that type of message is actually fine. Uh, that one should be fine. Because it's only a couple words. Oh, is it repeated? Oh, it was repeated. Got you. I was confused for a second. I thought it was for the caps. Never mind then. Hey, Necron, how's it going? Hope you're doing good. Hope you are doing phenomenally. We're just out here smoking whitetail. Where's the other one? There it is. Glad you like it, Tyler. Glad you like it. Hey, Call the Wild Bow Hunter. How's it going? Hope you're doing great. Hope you're doing amazing. Yeah, I think this is just a couple of deer. I don't think this zone is going to stay. I think it's going to go solo doe. Yeah, it's just a two deer zone. Man, that's rough. Well, it is what it is. Let's plop this down right there. Oh, another herd. Okay, this area is loaded. This area is actually loaded. Hey, Tony, how's it going? What do you mean, uh, Kato? Can't find any bucks on Layton? They're on the left side of the map, Heron. I think you are the only mod tonight. I do believe so. It is pretty late, though. So, I, I, I kind of expect it. Do we have any drink zone here? Actually, that might have been the same herd now that I think of it. This might be the same herd as back there. Yeah, definitely no drink zone icons. I should probably check to see if we can even place another. Yeah, we can. Awesome. Hey, Reaper, how's it going? Oh, no, I haven't tried it, Kato. Never tried it. I've heard it's decent, but I've never tried it before. Also, guys, uh, Crow's got a little bit of the, uh, little bit of the fun juice tonight, so, you know. As this stream gets going, things are going to get going. It should make it a pretty interesting time since we're searching for our zones. I'm going to hope I don't end up like deleting zones on accident as we progress through here, but we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, I'm feeling great, Max. Feeling amazing now. Um, adult beverages, Reaper. Is that better?
Nothing over there. Nice, Lucas. That's awesome. Hope you're enjoying it and having fun. There's a deer. How many, though? Okay, okay. We got at least five there. That's a contender for a possible zone that we'll hunt. Gonna need a better angle to shoot them from, though. So definitely not here. Got him. I think. Favorite type of wine? I I don't know. Um, I really like um, I really like Chardonnays and Bruts, Bruts or Brutes, whatever they're called. Brut Brut. It's like a, a champagne, actually. More of a champagne than a wine, but I like it. Not really stopped, Ethan. More of just put it on hold. Not sure, Karlov. I see your message now, so... Whatever was happening isn't happening anymore. There's the deer, so this is a zone of six. Okay, perfect. Exactly what I was hoping to see. Let's see, can we put another? Yes, we can. Okay, awesome. Uh, this map is New England Mountains Rider. Oh, also, guys, if you play American Marksman, I did make my uh, map public, and it's got tents on it, so you guys can spawn in different areas. Um, I also st set up a couple deer stands. I made, like, little campsites. Honestly, I'm pretty blown away at the, like, uh, world-building aspect of American Marksman, where you can just, like, place props all over the map in whatever way you want. And yeah, I opened up the uh, I opened up my map and made it public to everybody. So at any point, you guys can join in and play it. The thing about American Marksman is you can just make your world public, and then even if you're not playing the game, people can join. I ended up calling it Rocky Mountain Scarecrow. So yeah, oh, looks like it's already got 19 upvotes. So I guess somebody's been playing it. Okay, this should be good right here. What's the farm code? Does it show it when it's um, set to a public session? No, no, it's not like that. It's, um, you go to Outlands and then I believe you just search up Scarecrow. Let me check it. Yeah, just search up Scarecrow. Go to free hunt and click Outlands at the top and then type in Scarecrow into the search bar and then it'll say Rocky Mountain Scarecrow. It should have around like 19 or 20 upvotes and that'll be my map. It's really cool that you can just join people's maps when they're not playing as long as they have it set to public. That's really cool. Yeah, we're doing great Random Hunter. I am much better. 100% back to normal. Um, still got a bit of a cough, little stuffy nose, but my voice is back to normal, thankfully. It was rough not being able to talk. Maybe, Ethan, I can see that happening. Hey, Brobra, how's it going? Are there any cannibal camps on this map? Probably, Brobra. Would not doubt it. Bro, bro, you should get American Marksman. It's like Call of the Wild, but for your phone, and even more fast-paced than Call of the Wild. It's definitely your style. You can just sprint around the map, and then, like, when you get really close, slow down a little bit, and then pop them. It's pretty fun. I know what you may be thinking. Ah, but it's a phone game. But it's a good phone game. For once in the, in the world of mobile games, it's actually good. You've gotten me into enough games already. Yeah, true. I guess you got Sons of the Forest to play right now. We did quite a bit of building onto the base today, Brovra. We streamed it for like three hours and we made massive progress on the base. 
did a little bit of exploring as well and found a couple cool things that we'll have to take you to. Yeah, Joey, it's got virtually no ads, which is very rare for mobile games. Uh, the majority of mobile game developers, they load them with ads to try and make money. But for American Marksman, they went with very minimal ads. The only ad you ever see is after you exit the hunt. And then instead, to kind of make up for it, they just made it so they have a premium feature where you earn like double money and stuff like that for like 10 bucks a month. So that's how they make their income. But the great thing is you're not required to even purchase that to enjoy the game. I really just can't get over like how much I enjoy how they've set it up. Nice to see some developers that aren't really only focusing on money. They're actually making a good game. Really rare to see nowadays. Uh, to be honest, I, I haven't played enough yet, James, to really know. So far, some of the best animals I've seen for money are like the wolves, um, the foxes, raccoons. Like, it seems like the predators and small game give the most cash. And then also really high rating animals. So if you're always shooting the biggest one out of the group, then you'll make more money. And I believe the quicker it dies, the more money you make. So if you get really close before you shoot it, it'll most likely drop on the spot. And that'll help out quite a bit. Nice raid, nice. Yeah, it's really cool that you can just bring up a... You can just make your map public. I love that. It's cool because now, um, since the developers uh, gave me that currency so that I can actually get all the stuff, I can actually set up some really awesome maps for you guys to play on where you'll have access to, like, tons of stands and tents and stuff like that. It'll be cool. I can make some actual, like, hunting paradises. I am, Brober. That is true. I am in your videos. Believe it or not. There's the other deer. Did you miss anything? Not really. We've just been kind of finding where the zones are. Yeah, Max, I can't believe we found a Diamond Grizzly yesterday. That made me so happy. What's the highest rareness in antler size? I don't know what the highest rareness is. My best trophy in terms of rareness was like a wolf that was 100... Or no, it was a boar that was 163. And it looked to be albino. But yeah, it scored like 163 on the rareness. Um, biggest antler size is XXL. Or is it XL? It's either XXL or XL. One or the other. Nice, Joey. That's awesome, dude. Hope you have fun on it. Got all the tents and stuff set up. Got a couple stands here and there. I plan to put a lot more on the map as well. I kind of just got the, the bare bones stuff there. It is XXL? Okay. In that case, I, I still haven't got a lot of the biggest trophies. I've got a few XLs, but I haven't got a lot of XXLs. In fact, I don't think I've got any. Nice, country boys. Nice. Yeah, some people in the comments were saying that the Mela Foxes are not really rare in the game, unfortunately. I thought they were rare when I killed it. But apparently a lot of people have found quite a few of them, so. Same with albino wolves and albino boar. It seems like people are finding a lot of those as well. Oh, and if you guys were not here the other day when I was talking about it, I got to chat with the uh, devs uh, for American Marksman, and I asked them if they were ever going to add non-typicals into the game. Um... They asked me to show them some examples, and so I showed some examples of big non-typical mule deer. And I explained to them why it's like a, a really good thing to add to hunting games to give like the long-term players something more to look for that's maybe tougher to find than other things. 
And their response was that they could easily make non-typicals in American Marksman. Which is pretty good to hear. It's nice to hear that it's something that they could easily make because that would honestly just be phenomenal if they could get non-tips. If they get non-typicals, I could see myself sinking tens, maybe even hundreds of hours into that game chasing after non-tips. Oh, you did, Eli? Yeah, I was. that's what I'm saying. I feel like they're a little bit... The rares are a bit too common in uh, American Marksman. Right now, that's one of my biggest complaints, is that the rares are too easy to find. I feel like they should be properly rare, but give a ton of money when you find them. Got a white tail over there. That zone only has three, but still a zone. Um, we need to... I'm gonna check over here. I feel like these lakes might have something, but I don't know. Same, Death Reaper, same. Yeah, I don't know, Aiden. I'm not sure how they score it. Maybe it's based on, like, the... the weight of the animal as well. I think it's gotta be based off the weight. That's the only, like, logical thing that I can think of. Like, the only logical reason for the antlers not really affecting it. Maybe it goes off the weight. Uh, yeah, Zerkles, there is. So, um, I actually, I said I had eight codes in that video. I actually had ten of them left over. And so what I've done is, instead of giving out all eight in this video, I've chose three so far. I'm probably going to choose a couple more after the stream. And then, in the next video, I'll do more codes. That'll make it easier on me as well. So there is still codes to win, for sure. And I'm still going to be going through some of the comments. You guys have been just blowing up that video with comments. I think it's at 200 comments now, which is crazy. Honestly, that's not a bad zone. Two bucks? Decent? Not bad. Um, I need better tent placement, though. That's not gonna cut it. Thank you, Karlov. I'm glad you enjoy them. Um, I believe I unlisted that one, uh, WR, but I believe you can still get it via the, um, command. Actually, I don't even know if I have that command anymore. We'll have to see. I don't think I have the command anymore. I think I I think I got rid of it after I stopped doing it. I didn't get rid of the whitetail one because it still has like a great one tied to it as well. Yeah, let's test it faded. Let's see. I don't think it works anymore. I think that was one of the ones that I removed. Because at this point, it's pretty easy to explain and... Not as many people are asking about it recently because most people already know what it is. You can if you want, WR. It's it's pretty simple. It's just leave the fours and below, shoot the rest. Just because I stopped doing it doesn't mean I'm going to tell you guys you have to stop doing it, you know? Because I'm not like that. I'm not going to tell other people that they can't do something they like. Blake, thank you for the super chat. Dude, really appreciate it. Do you know when the new Call of the Wild update is coming? Uh, not sure, Blake. Not sure. I imagine a few weeks because they did say that they're going to show off the next couple guns in the next couple weeks, so... I'd say it's at least going to be two weeks until we get the update. Maybe I'm wrong, though. We'll see. Hopefully tomorrow we'll learn more. Thank you so much for the super chat, though, dude. Thank you, WR. I appreciate it. Um, what I'll tell you, WR, is if you're just after great ones, then you don't need to do it because I, I, from what I've done, from my experience, I don't see any difference. Maybe a slight difference, but not substantial enough to, like, guarantee whether or not it helps, right? There can be an argument that it might, but 
In my experience, if it does, it's very minimal difference. So if you're just after great ones, you shouldn't have any problem getting great ones no matter how you play. It should be about the same odds. Because I had two Red Deer grinds that were 3,000 apiece without it, and then two that were 6,000 apiece using it, so... I don't know. And then ever since we stopped doing it on Whitetail, it took 1280 and 1550 for our Whitetail, so... Not really any change. So if you're just after great ones, then just do whichever, whichever method you enjoy the most. Yeah, 9 a.m. for the EW stream, usually. How many kills into the grind? Like, maybe six, Andrew. We're very, very early into it. We just started this stream. We're primarily just trying to figure out, like, where we want to set everything up. Oh, we dropped that one. Um, only I realized that. Let's try that right there. Not going to claim that. It's too far away at this point. We went way around. Hey, bird, how's it going? Long time no see, my dude. We're on New England mountains, uh, Dusty. Oh, that's a zone. Seven whitetail. Okay. Got a feeling this actually won't be a too bad of a zone to use. If it's got seven, then hopefully it's going to be really consistent. Oh, yes, oh Steve, God. thank you for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. Got an XXL elk on your map in American Marksman. Nice, dude. That's awesome. That is awesome. Good to see you guys are having fun on it. Oh, gosh, Ender, that is a lot of snow, dude. That's a lot of snow. Yeah, of course I remember you, bird. You used to be in the streams all the time, so of course I remember you. Very familiar name. Believe it or not, it's actually not as difficult to remember everybody's names as a content creator as some people think. We may see a lot of names come in here, but if you are if you were a regular at any point, then there's a good chance that we'll remember the name. Or the profile picture. Sometimes the profile picture sticks more or just as much. Oh, definitely, Kathy. Definitely. Wait, Kathy, did you, uh, did you change your name? Or is this a different Kathy? There we go. There is the herd. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. We got any more? Just that one, I think. Oh, of course, Faded. Of course. How could I forget you? You're in almost every stream. We get this to drop down. Come on. Oh. Beavers are going to have a Haiti with that one, but it is what it is. It's whatever. We're just going to have to deal with it. Is there only two bucks here? Yeah, there's two bucks. So hopefully they'll both respawn. And come back to the same zone. That's the one tough thing when there's only a couple bucks to work with. They don't always come back. Nice, Columbia. Um, I remember the name, Bluebird. I don't remember how long ago it was you were in here, but I, I do recognize the name Bluebird. Uh, yeah, Ethan, we actually got a diamond turkey. It flew over top of us, and it was a max weight, max score. It was honestly pretty crazy. Just flying right over our heads, and boom, it's a diamond. Max score, even. Oh, 
Oh, nice, bird. That's awesome. Sounds like a fun time. Sounds like a fun time indeed. Ah, uh, yeah, Lincoln, I remember you. Two days, two legendaries, zero diamonds. Ooh, that's unfortunate, Mason. It never gets, never gets less painful to get those trolls. Always painful, man. Always painful. How do you switch maps in American Marksman? Uh, you have to purchase new land, or you can join a map that somebody has put up. Uh, just like how I've made my session public. Um, other people do that as well, and you can join those maps. That's how you switch map. Um, if you haven't purchased your own, then you'll have to join somebody else's. There we go. What do we got going at this lake over here? Oh gosh, French fry. Um, that actually should fix itself if you pick both of them up. If you put them both in your inventory, one of them should disappear and bring you back to just having one of them. From what I remember, at least. As long as you pick them both up at the same time, like, they should... It should fix itself. Thought so, Kathy. Thought so. I kind of figured that's the case. But I wasn't sure. Honestly, nothing here from what I'm seeing. I don't want to move that tent, though. Uh, we definitely need to move this one, though. Uh, no, Lincoln. I've never shot a max weight troll. That's not possible. If you found a troll that was max weight, it was probably a cheated one. Like, probably a modded one from multiplayer. Two sixty-five scoring diamond fallow deer. Oh, feels bad, Andrew. Unfortunate you botched it, but it happens, man. It happens. Happens to the best of us. Now, this map is New England mountains living. I actually, do Thomas. I actually, do. Yeah, French fry, I, I totally understand that, man. You should be okay, though. I, I don't think it's going to bug out. Is there anything on this lake right here? Nothing yet. I actually don't know if Whitetail can be this far down. I got a full video on that, Elliot. I've put up a video talking about what my top three maps are. A lot of maps that I really love. Um, Can Whitetail be down here? I'm not sure, honestly. Whitetail can be at most of the map, but... There's definitely some areas where there's more of them than others, I imagine. Uh, yeah, Columbia, it is. Hey, on the way up, how's it going? Shot a 270 whitetail yesterday. Nice cash. That's awesome, dude. When's the new update coming? We don't know as of now. Tomorrow is the EW stream, so hopefully they'll give more information regarding that. What's my dream place to go on vacation to? I don't know what my dream place to go on vacation would be, but I, I'd really like to do a New Zealand red deer hunt, so I guess New Zealand would be my dream vacation. 
a New Zealand hunting vacation would be crazy. Yeah, it definitely could use some work, French fry. The way I see it, though, is it's a really good start. They, they've got a good start to the game, and I imagine they're going to update it and uh, make it better over time like they have their other games. I got faith in them. I think they'll, uh, I think they'll definitely make improvements wherever they can. Uh, Steve, thank you for the super chat. Dude, really appreciate it. Call me Ian. Handguns are beasts and American marksmen. Oh, they definitely are. That desert eagle is ridiculous. I plan on doing a video on that soon because it is pretty crazy. And I'll, I'll try to remember to call you Ian, but a lot of times when I look down at messages and stuff, I just read off the name that I see because it's easiest. It's hard to remember um, a name that I don't see in front of me, you know? But I will do my best, dude. Thank you for the super chat. Well, hello there. Oh, and also, guys, this is the first time that we have shot any whitetail on New England. So all of these herds are untouched. Who knows what we might find? I might at some point faded. Nice, Elliot. That's awesome. Uh, you just go to the join section after clicking hunt, uh, Ryder. You click hunt, and then you go to the join section, and then from there, just type in Scarecrow, and it'll bring it up. Bear there. Oh, yeah, Kathy. I, I understand that totally. Uh, to be honest, hardcore mode doesn't have that big of a difference. Um, the animals spook a little bit quicker. And you don't get, like, the Hawkeye. But other than that, there's not that big of a difference. Though I think you do get increased money in hardcore, possibly. You might get increased money because it is a slightly tougher game mode. I'm not sure. I'll have to go back and read what it does again. It is pretty fun, though. I enjoyed it. Oh, yeah, Kathy. I don't use it too much either. I started using it a little bit more today. What it does is every time you press the eagle eye, it will kind of like do a pulse and show all of the animals that are close to you. Kind of like a radar. Oh, we're talking about a different game, uh, Chris. We're, um, we're talking about American Marksman, not Call of the Wild. Also, I sense a bit of sarcasm in that last message. You gotta understand, there's a lot of people in the stream. I can't possibly see every message you put through. There's over 200 people in here. Have some patience, my guy. Have some patience. Something that people nowadays don't have, it seems. Level 24, still don't have a diamond. I wouldn't worry about it too much, Chase. I didn't get my first diamond until I was level 51. So it's not something to be ashamed of to not have a diamond at level 24, right? Still plenty of time to get that. Nice, Game Rat. That's awesome. How many great ones do I have? 27 right now. 27 in total. 18 of those are Whitetail. So the majority are Whitetail. I, I guess you could say I'm slightly obsessed with Whitetail grinding. Maybe a little bit. I don't have a problem. I I, pr I could I could stop at any time. I promise. I promise. I I don't have a problem. 
Did you learn? Yeah, a lot of people were telling me that, Kathy. I, I saw at least like six or seven comments telling me about the uh, waypoint. Nice game, right? That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Nice to beast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I don't like whitetail at all. What do you mean? I, I, I don't like whitetail deer. It's I, I haven't shot them in ever. Uh, yeah, Carter, we killed a diamond turkey, actually. It flew right over top of us. We blasted it out of the air, and it was a max score, max weight. Pretty crazy, honestly. I wish it was a, my favorite plumage type, but unfortunately, it was just the uh, brown plumage. Was really hoping for bronze. Got deer there. At least three. Okay. So the way we're going to... Ooh, ooh, we got five actually. That's good. That's really good. The way we're going to do this is we are going to hunt a zone. We're going to set up at as many zones as we can fit with the tents. And we're just going to hunt them. And then if we start getting zones that don't get respawns, we're going to move the setup to a new area. And we're just going to keep doing this until we find the reliable zones. A lot of people ask me all the time how I decide what zones to grind and how I get my zones to be so consistent. And this is how. You got to just start with whatever zones you find. Hunt them. Keep hunting them. And if you see some of them stop actually getting respawns, then you know that that's not going to be a consistent zone. And that's a zone that you need to abandon and move your setup to a new zone. And then repeat the process until you find the consistent ones. And eventually you'll get to a point where everything is super consistent like my latent grind. Oh. This zone has good amount of deer, but it's in a really bad spot, so I don't know how long we're going to keep this one in the uh, rotation, but we're going to keep it in there for now just because it's got a good amount of bucks. It's like right there. We need to get a good ways away from it. Uh, not quite. Or, yes, we have crew. If you look at the top right, we've got 2,142. Actually, I gotta do diamond counter because we got that turkey. There we go. One more diamond added to the counter. Okay, this might be where we gotta go. This is going to be a little bit of a more annoying one to hunt. Yeah, Quiz, I'm doing really good now. Pretty much back to normal. I mean, it really comes down to what you have the most fun doing, Kathy. If you want to hunt the entire map, then... Like, if that's what gives you the most enjoyment out of the grind, then do it. Um, but if you're just after, like, the most consistent way to hunt that's going to get you the quickest kills, then I would recommend just hunting, like, eight of your most consistent zones. That way you can have a claiming tent and a shooting tent. I always choose, like, the eight best zones... Or, like, areas where I can hunt multiple zones with less tents. Like, uh, you know how my Runaki has three zones that are really close together? It makes it so I can only use three tents instead of six tents to be able to shoot and claim them. Okay, there we go. That's another zone. 
Nice. Okay, we got two bucks in it that we can shoot, and then one that will have to leave, otherwise the zone will delete. Um, we don't know the actual, like, I guess, true max score Carter, because True Rax is a system where they technically could always go a little bit higher, though the higher it goes, the less chances of it getting any higher. But, uh, the biggest one we've ever seen was 276 for Whitetail. 276 was the biggest we have seen on the current score requirements. All right, let's just try this to start out. Let's see how we can do grinding with just these zones. Oh my gosh, there's more deer than I thought. Wow. Um, okay. And they got there super quick as well. It was like instantaneous after I changed the time. That's a good sign. That's a good sign that this might be a really good area to hunt. Come on, Call of the Wild. I could totally place it there. This might be a tree stand map. To be honest. Might be a tree stand map. Unfortunately. Wait, what do you mean, Ian? I'm confused. What do you mean? I That's the first message I've seen from you all day. What, what are you talking about, my dude? Did I miss something? Okay, we can place it there. Amazing. There we go. That's a good looking buck right there. Question is, can we really ATV here? I don't know if we can. It might be kind of tough to ATV from here. I have 11 super rares, Bryce. I think it's 11. It's either 10 or 11, one or the other. Uh, to be honest, I don't know, crew. I haven't kept track of how many rares I've killed. It's got to be at least 500 rares, though. I've had close to 100 rares of Whitetail alone. And probably like 60 or 70 Red Deer rares. And then I don't know what the rare count would be throughout the other species. Hard to say, honestly. Oh, got you, Ian. Gotcha. Yeah, I, I, that's the first message I've seen, so I was really confused. I was like, wait, what do you mean? You haven't said anything today. But how you doing, Ian? Hope you're doing good. Hmm, this is interesting. So, that's so close to where ATVing will spook them. Um, hmm. I don't know what we're going to have to do here. I think this zone should be spooked. Yeah, they're not there. Yeah, I do believe they would have been spooked, because that's 160, that's 190, so yeah, it's not even 400 meters away. We might have to rethink the placement for one of these tents. I'm thinking we might just ignore this zone, but kind of don't want to. Might have to go...
Oh, the setup is never the fun part, Chris. It's getting the great one that's fun. Getting the great one is the fun part because it's it's a closer to a super long, grueling grind. It gives you an adrenaline rush like nothing else in Call of the Wild. Okay, this... This is looking decent. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna do this one next. Uh, no ways, I still have some. I haven't gone through all the comments yet. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to sprint on one of them, Kathy. Definitely gonna have to sprint for one of them. Not at the zone, so let's do a reset real quick. And also, Cress, uh, when you're a content creator, you're not just making con- You're not just playing the game for yourself, right? You're also playing it for everybody to watch, so it makes it more enjoyable. Because you know that you're creating something that people enjoy. That's the other thing that people don't take into account, is it's different when you're a content creator, because there's people that are watching that um, enjoy the stuff that you're making, and it really does give you a lot more motivation than if you were just playing by yourself with nobody else watching. Like, if I didn't do content, I wouldn't Great One Grind as much as I do, because it wouldn't be as fun, because I wouldn't have anybody to share it with. That's a really big factor for me, is being able to share the adventure with all of you. It's what makes me be able to do these Great One Grinds like this for long extended periods of time. Nice, Ace. Got a troll black bear? Nice, Fang. At least it's not like a... At least it's not like a small male. At least you got a troll. Better than nothing, right? Unfortunately, it didn't make diamond, though. Yes, yeah, so this zone only has three. That's a little bit rough. That's a zone we might get rid of eventually. Um, is this a zone that we're hunting for whitetail? I don't remember. Let's do a quick time reset just to see if they're even here. Appreciate it, Chris. I, I do my best. I always try my hardest with all the content that I make. Don't see anything here. Honestly, I think we can get rid of this tent. I don't think this is a lake we even need to be at anymore. There's no zone visible on the map. I don't see any whitetail popping up. I don't even know why I put this here. I think it was just to see if maybe there was something, but... There's clearly no whitetail here for me, so... Don't gotta worry about it, I don't think. I uh, no French fry. I haven't. I need to, though. I definitely need to. I know that was a great lake for uh, moose. Gosh, I, I got a feeling that New England's going to be one of those maps where I got a time reset a lot, which is going to suck because we're going to be wasting a ton of money doing that. But whatever it takes to get the consistency, right? Got a feeling it's going to be just like moose. There they are. Yeah, it did turn into a solo doe. That's sad. That's really sad to see. Solo doe zone already. It sucks because this could have been a really good, like, double zone area. But now it's just solo doe, though. But we still got this zone right here. Honestly, I need to move this up further.
Or move it back further, I guess. Whenever these render in them will be good. Because we have a zone pretty close. They should render in in no time. Yeah, right there. Got a few deer there. Couple bucks. Three bucks, actually. Okay, that's good. That's good to see. Where can I place this? Probably back here. Let's get a stand set up. I got a feeling this will be a more consistent zone that we'll probably need to hunt for a while, so we'll get a stand. Anytime I see multiple bucks like this, it's usually a good one. Nice, we got him. Beautiful. Uh, we shot the diamond turkey like 15 or 20 minutes into the stream, John. Probably going to make it into a YouTube short at some point. Because it was pretty crazy the way it unfolded. You know, guys, it's been a while since we've been setting up a brand new grind. So this is actually pretty, uh, pretty cool to be doing. Back to, back to what we've done quite often, setting up a brand new Great One grind on a map that I've never tried Great One grinding before. Hopefully, this will turn out great. Um, that's pretty common, Dolan. That that happens a lot. I get that troll rack very, very often for the red deer. We hit the other one, but I don't know where it went, so we're not going to worry about it. What is here, I wonder? Do I have this set up for whitetail or something else? Let's see what we got. Wait, let me check this. That is whitetail. Okay. So it is whitetail. Pretty odd zone placement, honestly. Is there only one buck? I mean, that kind of sucks if there's only one buck here. Doesn't make this a very efficient zone if there's only one buck to shoot. Yeah, it's just one buck. I don't think we're going to keep this 10 here. If there's only one buck, then that's uh, quite the waste of time. Let's go to a different zone with that tent. Definitely not going to be as good as I had hoped. About 70%, Dolan. With anything, it's always 70%. That will always be the answer with, um, with herd management. It's always 70% you shoot for.
Come on, buddy, slow down. Nice, we got him. Amazing. You know, so far, I'm not really minding the, uh... The New England hunting. It's not too bad, actually. New England Whitetail is feeling decent so far. Let's go grab this other one. We're definitely not going to be hitting 100 deer per hour like we do on Layton, but that's partially just because we haven't got set up good. Once we get fully set up, I think we will be able to get close to that. Just going to be a matter of uh, how long it takes. How long will it take us to get to that point? Sounds about right, Kathy. I don't compare any of the creators real. To be honest, I don't watch Call of the Wild content, so I, I don't even have, like, the grounds to be comparing anybody. I don't have time to watch, like, um, Call of the Wild content because I make so much of it myself. And I also do a lot of streams on other stuff, so... Most of my time is spent streaming and... Recording videos and replying to comments, editing videos, like, all that stuff. So I, I don't really get time to watch everybody else. Not to mention, like, whenever I'm watching YouTube, because I do call the wild content so much and play the game a ton, I, I'm not really in the mood to watch call, call the Wild content when I'm watching YouTube. Because I've been doing Call of the Wild stuff all day. I like how that auto-corrected to XD, Kathy. <laughs> That's hilarious. Hilarious auto-correct. Hmm. Is that a solo doe I see? Oh no. Wait. The double doe. I mean, we'll give them the benefit of the doubt. They could just be delayed respawns. Could just be delayed respawns, but we'll see. Mrs. Crow is back, guys. Not sure, Aiden. I think I will do a video on un unboxing it, but I don't know when it'll be. It says it'll take like two to three um, weeks for it to arrive. But we should probably main menu. We haven't done that in a while. Okay, there's a couple bucks there. Definitely not as much as the first time. But this is all part of the grind. You got to figure out which zones are consistent. The ones that lose, uh, lose deer like this. They keep doing it, they're not going to be the zones you want to grind. So it's good to kind of weed these out. And figure out exactly what's going to be good. Yeah, same Columbia, it's a lot of fun. Not going to lie, I spent like... Both me and my wife spent like two hours just editing our... Um, our farm in American Marksman. We were just adding stuff to the farm. Um, you know, adding furniture, random stuff outside. It's fun. It's fun to make all that stuff. Oh gosh, this is not meant for ATVs, I can tell you that. Yeah, it's just a zone of three now. I think it had more before. I might be wrong, though. 
Uh, yeah, I plan to do it eventually, Karlov. We're gonna do some IRL fishing content at some point. And, uh, see if you guys enjoy that. I've had lots of requests for it over the years, so we'll see how it does whenever I, uh, decide to do that. One buck there. This is all part of the grind, though. We got to figure out what's consistent and what isn't. And, uh, slowly weed these inconsistent zones out. This only has one buck, so it's probably not going to end up being a uh, final grinding zone. Because having one buck in a zone, it's just not enough. We got to have more. I play on PC, Karlov. I mean, Way of the Hunters got the campsites, Kathy, so I think that's kind of what they're going for, is the campsites. I don't think they're going to do the whole tent thing. That's kind of Call of the Wilds thing, anyway. Yeah, just four deer, only one of them is a buck. Yeah, this zone right here is just not going to be a good one to hunt, I don't think. Unless we can find a better placement. We might try to replace that tent in a better spot. Um, I'm not giving them out like that, Walter. I'm basing it off the comments in the videos. Um, I read through the comments if I find a comment that... I think is a, uh, a really good comment, then I'll choose them to uh, receive a code, right? That's kind of how I'm doing it to keep it fair. Nice, real sports. Nice. Hey, Ronaldo, how's it going? Hopefully I said your name correctly. Let me know if I didn't. Missed the first shot, got the second one. Oh. Cool. That's actually pretty convenient. We got two zones from one area. That's really good. That's the type of stuff I love to see. If we can find a lot of areas like this, that'll be really good. That'll be super nice. Glad you liked it, Brody. That was a fun video to do, though it did make my head hurt trying to use those uh, goggles. It was, uh, it was interesting. It was very interesting. I am going to kill my next great one wearing kaleidoscope goggles, by the way. It's going to happen. Whenever we get our next great one, I'm shooting it with those goggles on. There we go, got that one, and then we got this zone down here. It's so nice of these white tail to have two zones so close together. Love to see it. I know, right, Sag? That would be crazy. I mean, now that we know they exist, I really hope we eventually get a fabled piebald. Now that we know that they're a thing and that they aren't bugged, we really got to go for it. We got to try and get one eventually. Ten? That's a whitetail zone with ten deer. We only saw a few then. Where's the rest? That's crazy. Ten deer. 
Oh my gosh, 10 deer. I can't even begin to fathom that. That's insanity. Gosh, that's crazy. I got a feeling that zone will be a good one to hunt in the long term. So this is where some whitetail can be. We're going to try and find a better area. I'm thinking we'll go up there. Uh, that's not really how it works, Karlov. There's no such thing as like a kick feature. If you're watching, then it'll always have you watching. Come on, we'll make it. We got this, I believe. I uh, know, Karlov, not really my thing. I'm not a fan of the art style of the whole game, right? Just not something I've ever been able to get into. Oh, he did, Bird? Oh, unfortunate. I mean, that is quite a bit, Kathy, but that's a red deer. You know, red deer have bigger herds. Okay, this will definitely be much better. Yeah, there we go. I like that. This is going to be a good angle. Yeah, that's amazing. That is such a good angle. Um, we're going to main menu and then reset the time. Um, right now, Karlov, currently around 200. It's kind of late, though, so normally we'd have about 300. But it is a later stream than normal, so there's going to be less. Unless it was a Saturday. Saturdays are always booming for some reason. I mean, I guess it makes sense. Everybody's got uh, the day off. Uh, yeah, Dylan, we got a diamond turkey. Other than that, nothing else. But, I mean, diamond turkey is pretty good, so I'm happy with it. Roblox Master, welcome back, dude. Thank you for uh, renewing your membership. Hope you've been doing good. Yeah, that's a good size herd, too. Wow. You see, this is one of the things that really made me want to do a New England grind. Just the size of some of these herds is crazy. Some of these herds are massive. Ah, uh, we've got three Great One Moose already, Aiden. I'm probably going to wait to see if they fix that bug with the uh, fur types in the Trophy Lodge. And if they do that, we'll probably get back to the grind. It's currently 7.34 p.m. for me, Karlov. Ah, no, Nova, I'm not going to use it. Um, if you haven't seen, I stopped using it over a month and a half ago. 
but I've continued grinding and uh, we've had virtually the same success with great ones. I haven't been hunting great ones as much because I've just been in general doing other stuff more often because I kind of burned myself out for a while and now we're just getting back into it. And uh, we haven't really seen any, we haven't really seen any decrease in great ones to be honest, Nova. We got our last two great ones in 1280 and 1550 kills for Whitetail. So it's been pretty good still. Which makes me happy because for ages I said that um, great ones were not affected by herd management or that I didn't believe that they were and it's nice to see that so far through our tests it seems to be true. Though that's anecdotal. It's obviously not concrete evidence by any means. But it's nice to see that so far it's looking that way. Because that was partially one of the reasons why a lot of people didn't like it. And yeah, I'm glad you enjoy it, Nova. Glad you're enjoying the change of pace. I enjoy it too. It is fun to not have to worry about like what you're trying to go for. Gives you a little bit more freedom of like what you can shoot, which is nice. I do enjoy that part of uh, not doing it. But it was fun to get all those big diamonds. But at the end of the day, I'm just after the great ones, so. That is what we are trying to get. All does. Not a good sign. Not a good sign at all. This might be a zone that we don't hunt. The buck did not respawn. Again, we'll give it benefit of the doubt. We won't remove that tent yet. But it's not looking good. Not looking good at all. Now, somebody was saying to go down here. We'll go to this area real quick. Thank you, Roblox. Really appreciate it, dude. And I'm not sure how many gems I have. I know at one point I had like... Probably 30 or 40,000, but I spent a lot of them on guns. I don't know how much I currently have. Probably like 10k. Maybe 15k. Uh, definitely not as much as I did. Yeah, I agree, Gavin. They definitely need to... And more antler sizes couldn't hurt, you know. Honestly, what I think they should do for the antlers in American Marksman is make at least 10 rack sizes. And then give them a, like, a, a star rating of between 1 and 10 stars. And, like, a 10 being the biggest possible... But it's like really hard to find. Um, I talked to the devs about adding non-typicals into the game. And uh, they said they could easily make them. They never confirmed if they would add them. But um, just hearing that they could easily make non-tips in uh, American Marksman gives me hope for the future of the game. And uh, the possibility of more long-term trophies being added. Really interested in seeing what they do with the game. Yeah, same, Gavin. I think, from what I've seen, anything over 100 rarity is a pretty good trophy. And then anything with an XL rack is, you know, if you just want something good looking in the lodge, uh, tax the XL rack ones. And other than that, I really don't know much else about it. The game is still so new. So there's still a lot of things that I don't know about it. But I'm hoping to learn more as we go. Not really, uh, Novaco. That's not really like um, a sign of anything. What I've noticed with Red Deer... I'm assuming you're hunting red deer since you said level 8s. Um, what I've noticed with red deer is they come in waves. So 
I might go three or four hundred kills without anything special showing up and then within a hundred kills I'll end up getting like a, a ton of giants showing up it seems to just be the way red deer work they come in waves a lot of the time yeah bebop we are we're talking about American marksman A lot of cool stuff they could do with that game. So we're, we've just been chatting about it a lot. That's the zone right there. I didn't realize it was that close. Okay, that might be why they haven't been showing up. I thought it was further to the right. There's also a zone right here close. How many are here? Eight. Okay, that's a zone we need to hunt. Let's go over here and put this tent down. Can I even fit this here? Come on, man. Let me place the tent. I, I so badly need to place this tent. Come on. Come on, bro. No. Well, that's unfortunate. Can I place it here? Yeah, there we go. Okay, perfect. That's good. Really nice to see that this is an eight deer zone here. Really nice. What the? Hello there, moose. Also, guys, would you like to see a moose grind on New England at some point? I feel like since moose are terribly inconsistent no matter where you go, probably doesn't really matter what, what map we grind them on. I think it would be a, a nice change of pace if we did a moose grind on either New England or Rev on Thule. Uh, we're going to go for quite a while, Bryce. I'm having a lot of fun right now. It's a nice change of pace to be exploring New England instead of Leighton for Whitetail. Um, Aldo, thank you for the super chat. Would you recommend Ravontuli or New England for Whitetail or Moose Great One Grind? Um, I think I'd probably recommend Revontuli for both of them. Revontuli in general is a more open map. There's not as much trees and brush around the zone, so... A lot of people consider Revontuli to be one of the best grinding maps in the game. And I can agree that it's pretty good. I've never really done a grind on it, but it is pretty good. Nice. Honestly, that's going to be a really good zone. There were so many bucks there. So many bucks, man. Good to see. That is one of the things I really love about uh, New England, is it seems like the herds on average are bigger than uh, Whitetail on Leighton. Which is awesome to see. Ah, uh, because Call of the Wild has an AR in one of their weapon packs, Chris. They have the modern rifles weapon pack, and it comes with the AR-308, AR-22, and AR-223. The AR-308 is one of the best guns in the entire game. It's very strong. Super fast fire rate, minimal recoil, just like a real AR. Believe it or not, ARs are one of the most popular hunting rifles throughout the U.S., 
because they're very reliable and efficient. Um, for what, Bebop? Like, uh, are you talking about just like a specific game or are you talking about for like anything? Um, I don't know how much we're gonna hunt this uh, zone here. There's only one buck we can shoot. There's three deer. Oh wait. Oh, there's another one. Never mind. We can shoot two. If there's four, we can shoot two. One of them got away though. Um, Cam Duty Call. Thank you for the super chat. You're my favorite YouTuber. Thank you so much, dude. I really appreciate that. You know, comments like that are what make my day, man. Really appreciate you being here. Really appreciate the support. You guys are the reason that I'm able to do this every day, so I'm incredibly grateful for that. Without y'all, this channel would be nothing. Honestly, guys, we're already getting a pretty good little rotation going on these zones. I'm liking what I'm seeing with New England. Most of the zones seem somewhat consistent so far. There's definitely a few that are a bit weird, but a lot seem pretty consistent. Let's see if we can get them to show up at the time reset. There we go. I might need to back up more. Yeah. Back it up a little bit more. A lot of does. Where's our bucks? Uh, come on, Whitetail. Don't do this to me. Don't prove me wrong. I just said y'all were being consistent. I might need to expand it into better areas, though. On Layton, we have a lot of zones where we have two tents and each of them are on top of a zone. And then we can fast travel to one shoot them, fast travel to the other, and then the others will render in. We don't have a lot of that so far on here. Oh gosh, those haven't respawned either. Oh no, did I speak too soon? <sighs> we'll see. We'll see how this goes. One buck there. Oh, this is a whitetail zone, though. Okay, that's actually good. That's really good, actually. Um, American Marksman is on iOS and Android, Bird Alien. It is a, uh, it's a mobile game. It's a really good mobile game, though. Which is a rarity to be able to say that. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good though, Bird. I would recommend checking out the two videos I've uploaded on it if you haven't seen them already. It's actually a pretty good game. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Not a good shot, but it'll go down. I think it's dependent on the size of the animal, Pioneer, and how close you are when you kill it. Because uh, the closer you are, the quicker it dies. And uh, I think the, uh, the rareness rating factors into the money you get as well. Because I've definitely seen them give varying amounts depending on the size of the animal and how close I was. Hard to say exactly, I'm just kind of going off of what I've seen.
Hmm, how are we gonna see that? Uh, yeah, you can, Pioneer. You can put scopes on every gun. You have to go into the mods category. Let me open it up real quick. You go into equipment, and then you click your primary weapon, right? And then you select it, and you click mods. And then you tap on the scope, and you can select any scope. So yeah, you can you can add an 8x scope onto any of the rifles that you buy in uh or in uh, American Marksman. Yeah, Pioneer, they did it very well. Like uh I like how they're not locking it behind like the high tier weapons. Ah, uh, Big Fish Adventures with Jace. Thank you for becoming a member, dude. Enjoy all the perks that come with that. The emotes, the extra Discord channels, and the scrapped uploads on the channel. Really appreciate it. Ah, uh, you didn't miss too much, bro, but we're just setting stuff up still. Trying to figure out what's gonna be the good places to set up. So far, finding some pretty good areas. Yeah, Wyatt, I will. I'll be live tomorrow. We will have a video as well since the uh, EW stream is tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, Nova. We're hoping that they'll show off another. I believe Jaxi said last week that they would be showing off the next gun in the DLC tomorrow. So we should get a uh, sneak peek of it. I imagine. Did I forget to pick that one up or did I grab it already? I might have grabbed it already. I don't even know. I don't even know, to be honest. Here's the other one, though. I mean, I don't really compare myself to anybody, Cress. I am not in competition with anybody but myself. Uh, yeah, Bird, you can actually completely customize your uh, farm. Like, you can actually add a bunch of different props to your property. Like, you actually get a full property instead of just a lodge in American Marksman. You can buy a full property, and then you can purchase the, like, specific house or barn that you want on your property. You can add a ton of props like fences, windmills, tractors, hay bales, boxes, barrels, like, the list goes on. And you can place them wherever you wherever you want. Obviously, they cost in-game currency to do so. But, uh, yeah, there's a lot of options for what you can do. It's pretty cool. And then you can uh, tax the trophies and you can place them anywhere on that property. You can place them outside, you can place them inside, you can do wall mounts, uh, full body mounts. It's honestly pretty advanced for a mobile game. Way more than I would have expected, to be honest. Maybe Roblox Master, it's hard to say. Always a possibility. What is the best place to start? I started in the Rocky Mountains, bird. I don't really know what the best place to start is. Uh, the Rocky Mountains and the Southwestern region are the only two I've played. And I, I enjoyed them both. All right, guys, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to grab another drink real quickly.
All right, I'm back. Nothing there. Oh, no worries, sad cat, man. Uh, to be honest, just being here, just liking the streams, liking the videos, leaving comments, all that stuff helps out just as much. It is a ton of help. It really is. Oh, no, it's way too close. Ah. That sucks. It is, it is what it is, though. It is. Oh, my gosh. The herd. This herd is massive. Yeah, I kind of figured we wouldn't get that one. Got a 142 Grey Wolf White Fur. Nice French fry. Nice. I think I've got one that's about the same, if I'm not mistaken. I think the one I have is about the same. Where did we... Was it really down here? Oh, yeah, there it is. There we go. Now, let's see what we got at this zone. Uh, yeah, why they do. I believe they link it on... Their website as well as what's it called? That's a good buck. I believe it's linked on their website as well as their Steam page. You could probably just type in the Hunter Discord and it'll bring it up, I imagine. That's a lot of deer. Yeah, this is the zone, man. I think this is our first, like, really good area. That's amazing. We can get four from one stand. Maybe Roblox, it's hard to say. I don't really do Classic anymore. It's not really a game I play much. I haven't opened up the Hunter Classic in over a year. Just have not really been interested ever since Way of the Hunter came out. I, I kind of moved on to Way of the Hunter for realistic hunting games. What is this song called? Let me see. It's called I Am Falling For You by Loving Caliber.
Uh, well, what maps do you not have, Bebop? Alright guys, I think that's gonna be for, uh, that's gonna be it for this stream. We've done about two hours. Um, we got good progress on the grind at least. We kind of figured out some of the good zones and some zones that we're probably gonna have to move on from. Um, I appreciate everybody being here as always. We'll be back tomorrow with another live stream as well as a video. And probably a couple YouTube shorts as well. But, uh, until then, thank you guys so much for being here and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!